Well, greetings and salutations. I am Skojo in 360, or as my Spanish speaking friends say, 360. First of all, you deserve congratulations for taking your first steps into the video editing world. Video editing is more fun than pizza and tacos. Cold beer, hot day. Peanut butter, chocolate. More fun than watching America's Got Talent and Britain's Got Talent. No, but seriously, video editing really opens up an entire new world for you, and it is the future with the internet. Everything is heading towards video. Why? Because at least half, if not more, of the people in the world would rather be shown something than to read a manual. Like, I didn't get formally trained on Premiere Pro. Where did I go? YouTube. What did I watch? Tutorials. So why am I making this? Because I want to help you out like all the others helped me out in the past. So, where should we go now? First of all, I should explain that this is gonna be an ongoing series. I'm gonna start breaking down some of the things for beginners. If you're an intermediate, you don't need to watch this other than to see my charming, handsome self. I'm gonna try to step you through Adobe Premiere Pro like I wanted to be stepped through when I first learned how to do it. So we're gonna start with a lot of the basics. And the first thing you should know is what is nonlinear editing? Because that's exactly what Adobe Premiere Pro is, a nonlinear editor. Now, way back in the day when I was young, there was a thing called linear editing, and it is exactly what it sounds like. It was editing things in a linear fashion. Timelines had to go one direction. You couldn't really go back. You could re-record, but you couldn't go backwards. You couldn't move pieces around. Suddenly, with the digital age, we got a new thing called non-linear editing, and one of the best things that came out of non-linear editing was the Apple Z or Control Z command. I wish my life had an Apple Z. Nonlinear editing opens up an entirely different world of video editing that you would have never seen in the linear world. Let's break it down by looking at a video that I made for Burning Man when I went there recently. Let's take a quick look at that video. Hello, and welcome to Burning Man. We're on our way to putting up our elephant carousels on the Saturday. Yeah, we're very excited for this. Now let's dive into Premiere Pro and I'll show you a little bit about what it means that I cut it up in a non-linear fashion. All right, here we go. Now, as you can see, this is my timeline here with the blue square and I'm just gonna scrub through. As you can see, here's the video. You're still looking at basically a, a linear timeline, but the way I assembled this was completely non-linear. If I wanted to take, let's say, uh, the clip where I'm talking to the camera and move it over here, then suddenly, Boom, it's over there. So I could just pick something up, move it without having to go re-record or toss it out. Nonlinear editing gives you that. I'll Apple Z that. Boom, <laughs> now all of a sudden, mistake undone. Another great thing about nonlinear editing. The thing about nonlinear editing is that it made things a lot faster and it also opened up the creative space a lot because with nonlinear editing, what you do kind of remains a little bit soft until you eventually master it. With linear editing, if you went forward with something and then all of a sudden figured out several layers down that you didn't like it, you had to go clear back to where that was and start all over again. So nonlinear editing saves you a lot of time and opens up the space for you to edit. Nonlinear editing is almost like existing out of the time-space continuum. With linear editing, everything has to be done basically the way time flows, forward to back. With nonlinear editing, suddenly your entire spectrum goes from, I could be in the past, I could be in the present, I could be in the future, I could be past, present, future, and if I don't like this thing in the future, I can move it to the past. I wish life was like that. So that's the quick and dirty on nonlinear editing. That's really just what you need to understand when we're about to go into Premiere, which we're gonna do in the next chapter, but let's just call it good for today. I appreciate all you tuning in and watching this series. Again, this is a multi-chapter series, so if you like this video, look and see if I have more videos out there. If you have a question about it, it's likely that I've covered that chapter. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I always appreciate it when I do, especially people that are as pretty as you, or handsome, I don't judge. When you do subscribe, if you hit that little bell on the side, uh. you will get a notification every time I make new content. I am Skojo in 360. I will say goodbye for now, and I love you.